Hi everyone, I Akshay welcomes you to my YouTube channel Java Riddles. So in this video, I am going to explain floating point precision errors. Why we get precision errors when we are dealing with floating point numbers or why we shouldn't use float and double data types when we deal with financial transactions and how we are going to resolve this issue. So what we are waiting for, let's start. So here on my screen you can see there are two data types float and double that we use when we deal with some decimal numbers. Okay, so the first question arises that why they gives precision error or approximation errors. It, it is because uh, they are introduced to deal with scientific calculations rather than to deal with some basic arithmetic operations. Okay, so these are introduced to deal with scientific calculations so let's first understand that how our computer deals with uh, these decimal numbers okay so if you have some previous background of csit then there was a subject named uh, computer architecture and its organization in that you have studied that our computer deals with floating point representation floating point representation when it deals with decimal numbers okay so what was there in floating point representation we have two things that is single precision single precision and double precision In case of single precision, it uses 32 bits and in case of double precision, it uses 64 bits. It is just double of the previous one that is single precision. Okay, so in this 32 bit, how these bits are going to represent our floating point numbers? Actually, the syntax is plus minus mentisa. into 2 to the power exponent okay so this is the general formula that floating point representation uses to deal with decimal numbers in our computer in single precision if we talk about these 32 bits the format is there is a one bit that is msb that is going to deal with sign okay this is the sign bit one bit out of this 32 bit it's going to be a sign bit and this is our msb okay msb most significant bit the next eight bits they are going to use for mentisa part okay and the remaining 23 bits they deal with the fractional part or we can say exponent exponent in the same way in double precision there is one bit that is assigned to deal with sign okay and we call it as sign bit the next 11 bits they are used for mentisa part mentisa part and remaining uh, remaining how many bits 53 okay 53 bits uh, that deals with exponent part or fraction part of our number so to make it simple let's say uh, we take an example and I am having a pizza and I am going to divide it in three equal parts so in a real life if we are going to add all these three parts again then we know that it is going to make the whole pizza that is equals to one okay but how our computer deals with it is it took 1 by 3 as 0 0.33333 and so on okay 
and the same way it is going to deal with the other parts and so on 0 0.33333 okay and when it is going to add it it is going to give us 999999 and so on okay so what is happening here is when we dealing with these fractional parts uh, what we have studied in our school that if we are going to join all the parts of something then it is going to give us the whole thing back but how our computer deals with this is it represent 1 by 3 as 0 0.333 and it doesn't know that this is going to repeat uh, forever it is not going to end somewhere or to make it more simple let's take one another example where uh, say I am going to add 0 0.1 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 and again I am going to subtract all of these 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 so in actual what we learned in our school that this is going to be cancelled out with this one and in the same way this is going to be cancelled out with these so it is going to give us 0 okay but in our computer when it deals with this expression it is not going to result as zero and why this is happening is when we deal with fractional parts in real life we deal with numbers like this is our unit place this is our tenth place this is our hundredth place and so on and after decimal we deal like one by tenth part one by hundredth part one by thousandth part okay but our computer our computer deals with binary numbers and it represent like 2 to the power 0 that is 1 2 to the power 1 that is 2 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 and so on and after decimal it deals with 1 by 2 to the power 1 that is 1 by 12th part 1 by 4th part 1 by 8th part okay so because of this representation we are getting some precision errors while we deal with float and double okay if we talk about individual like float then this float is using 32 bits that is single precision and double is using for 64 bits that is double precision here what this 32 bit and 64 bit represent is not the architecture of our operating system that represents general purpose register or the addresses what I am referring to is the, our maths coprocessor that deals with all the calculations in our computer so because this float and double gives us some precision error or approximation error that's why we shouldn't use float and double when we are dealing with some financial transactions or let's say you are developing a shooting game where you want to target this point but to get the location or the coordinates of this point you are using float and double data types okay so what's gonna happen is when you are trying to target this point it is going to hit this point rather than this point and this is because of precision error okay so I think you are getting my point why we are not going to use float and double data types when we are developing such games or developing such application where we need accuracy if we uh, talk about the currency if we are talking about say INR that is Indian currency Indian rupees and in one rupees say in one rupees there are hundred paise okay so if we are going to use float and double types and there is a approximation error so it is not going to affect much if we are dealing with small amount but if we are dealing with a big amount or say or thousands of crore then it is going to make a huge huge difference okay so this is the case of the real currency but if we talk about the virtual currency say bitcoin in bitcoin there are millions of satoshis so in that case you can't use uh, float and double data types because a single bitcoin is having millions of satoshis 
and the value of Bitcoin is changing every second. Okay, so what's the solution for this? The solution is very simple. You have to only use big decimal class, big decimal class of math package from Java. If you are developing such application where accuracy is must. So let's go and implement some code and look at these float and double data types and the approximation errors in action. So here on my screen you are seeing a simple program where I am just printing the difference between two numbers. Here I declare two variables named x and y of type double. So let's check the output first. I am running this program and you can check the output is 1.039999 and at the end there is 18. Okay. So what I was talking about is this thing. Okay, This is the approximation error because if we try to subtract these numbers manually uh, the result is going to be 1.04 but here our program returns 1.03999 it is because we are dealing with double data type and this is not the only case in the subtraction even if I try to add these in different orders say I am adding x plus x plus y plus y and I am just gonna copy and paste it to next line okay and now I am changing the order in which I gave these variables say x plus x plus y plus y in the first sysout and in the next one I just gave x plus y plus y plus x okay even in this case though we are using the same values in both the print statements and we are performing addition operation which in real life doesn't depend on the order in which we are adding those numbers okay now when I am running this program you can see I got different output from both these statements even though I am using the same variables in this I got some precision error but in this I got the expected result okay so you can see that we that's why we are saying you that you are not going to use double or float data types when you are dealing with financial transactions so what's the solution I already told you that you have to use big decimal class whenever you want to achieve accuracy so here I am going to define two objects of big decimal class big decimal So here I used big decimal class where I passed two double values as a string because this big decimal class provides us so many constructors. Here you can see there are so many constructors big decimal which can accept an integer value that is unscaled value and int scale. I am not going to explain each and every constructor here but I want to show you something which will help you to get the accuracy when you are going to deal with decimal numbers okay so here you can see i am using a constructor of big decimal which accepts a string value okay and now i am going to run my program here i again change the sysout statement to x minus y if i run this program now you can see from first when I am using double data type I got the precision error but when I am using big decimal and the constructor that I am using is which accepts string value okay and here I got the exact output which is expected big decimal class also provide us a constructor which accepts double value here I can pass 2.15 as a double value and here 1.11 as a double value and if 
now i am going to run my program again then you can see that in both of the statements both of the sysout statement i got precision error okay so this is what i want to show you that whenever you want accuracy in your program you are going to use is which accepts a string value rather than which accepts a double value so i think i made myself clear and explained everything about precision errors so guys if you think you learned something new from my video please subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you